down, Lord. Send it on down, Lord. Lord, let your Holy Ghost come on down. Send it on. Send it on down, Lord. Send it on. Send it on down. Yes, Lord, let your Holy Ghost come on down. I'm a soldier in the army. Yes, he 
together, put your hands together, put your hands together, put your hands together. Come on, I don't see you clapping. Saved, Thank you, Lord. but you're safe in the presence Hallelujah. of the Lord. Hallelujah. Anybody Hallelujah. glad that you're saved? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody glad that you're safe? Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, we magnify your sweet and yes, holy God. name. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we can't do this without Hallelujah. you. And we're leaning on you today, hallelujah, to lead and take us, Father God, where you desire for us to go. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus that your spirit will prevail even right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody's ear is to the window right now. Hallelujah, somebody is looking and viewing from their balcony right now. Somebody is in their car 
right now don't know which way to go haven't slept all night long been wondering all night long hallelujah been toiling all night long hallelujah somebody's body is aching and wrecked with pain even right now but God I thank you for being the God hallelujah who heals the God who delivers the God who sets free hallelujah the God who is able to swiftly make us all whole God we thank you now somebody is walking and roaming the streets right now contemplating harm of another individual but we pray and we ask that the Holy Spirit would arrest you now hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah! and that which you are contemplating on doing hallelujah that God is going to reverse your plans today hallelujah hallelujah that the assignment of the enemy is canceled hallelujah somebody say the assignment of the enemy is canceled hallelujah it is annihilated hallelujah hallelujah the plan is not gonna work hallelujah hallelujah somebody say it ain't gonna work 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 hallelujah 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 come on say it right where you are come on it ain't gonna work it ain't gonna it's not work. gonna work hallelujah 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 I'm a child of God, hallelujah, and I walk in power and authority, hallelujah, hallelujah, because God has given that unto us, hallelujah, and we give you the glory. Here I am to worship, here I am to bow, here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonder. To me, Lord, here I am to worship. Come on, everybody, raise it. Come on, can we sing to Jesus? We yield in your presence. You're all together, love. Come on, let us sing that again. Here I am to worship. Here I am to worship. That's it. Here I am to bow. Here I am. Here I am. I surrender all. I surrender all. favorite part 
I'll never know how much it costs to see my sins up on that cross. I'll never. Get everybody to sing along with me. I'll never know. I'll never know just how much it costs. How much it costs just to see. To see seconds to think about what you're singing think about every word that is coming out of your mouth because the truth of the matter is we will never know the truth of the matter is we will never understood what it took for him to remain there we will never understand what could have been going through his mind 
but can I put my own story together on what I think? Can I paint my own picture of what I think? My picture tells me that as he was stretched out on the cross, every stripe he took, every single drop of blood that dripped from the crown of his head, every ounce of sweat that came down his body, Every single nail that was pressing into his hands and into the core of his feet. All that he was enduring, think about it, saints, was for you and me. While they were beating him, he was thinking about us. While the blood was dripping from the crown of his head, he was thinking about us. While they were spitting on him, they were thinking about him. He was thinking about us. That's why every single time, I don't care what I go through, I'm just reminded of what Christ did for me. Even in my imperfectness, even with all the flaws, because I got some. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. Even in all of the wrongful things and the wrongful acts that I've done in my lifetime, He still loved me. When I was in the world, he still loved me. When I was doing wrong, he still loved me. That's why I worship him the way that I do. Yeah. And sometimes we find ourselves We want God to feel like we feel when people that have done us wrong, when life threw us and served us the way it served us, we want God to feel how we feel. We want God to be mad with us, with, 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 like we are mad. We, we want God to not forgive them because we don't want to forgive them. No, 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 no. Christ said, I already died for all of this. Just because you and your feelings and just because you feel the way you feel, it's not going to make me change my mind about the way that I feel about my own. I paid a price. I paid a heavy price for my own. And I will always see them differently than the way that you see them. I will always view them differently than the way that you view them. What am I speaking about? For every person that's ear is to your window. Every person that is listening from your front door. What I'm saying is, I don't care what you've done. I don't care where you've gone. I don't care what hand you were dealt in life. I don't care, hallelujah, what you may be facing and what you may be dealing with. God loves you. He's here right now. He's here right now. He's right where you are. He's in the center of your home. He's resolving your problems even right now. 
He's coming to your need even right now. He loves you and he has not forgotten about you. But he's right here today. Hallelujah. And if you would just slip your hands up in your house, you ain't got to come out. You would just say, I don't really know the God that they're speaking of. Hallelujah. But I feel something right about through and here. And I'm going to lift my hands. As you're lifting your hand, God says, I'm going to meet you right where you are. As you cry out right where you are, God says, I'm going to meet you right where you are. Hallelujah. I'm going to perform a new thing in you. Hallelujah. That the old things will begin to fade away. And God says, behold, I'm getting ready to restore you. I'm getting ready to transform you. I'm getting ready. Hallelujah. To erase your past. I'm getting ready. Hallelujah. To do a new thing. He loves us, saints of God. We're all sinners saved by grace. Somebody bless him right there. Somebody bless him right here. Hallelujah. I call on the spirit of the living God to pour out your spirit in the earth. Pour out your spirit in the earth. Pour out your spirit spirit in the earth you can run but you can't hide my bible tells me that at the end of it all my bible tells me that at the end of it all every knee shall bow every tongue will confess hallelujah that Jesus Christ is Lord hallelujah Jesus Christ is Lord hallelujah and we all are going to bow one day hallelujah we're all going to bow before our father one day he says the day you hear my voice hearten out your heart hallelujah the day you hear his voice harden out your heart for no man knows the day nor the hour when the Son of Man shall return. No man knows. Today we want to make sure. We want to make our election sure. Choose ye this day whom you're going to serve. Hallelujah. We can't be on both sides. Hallelujah. You got to pick a side. Hallelujah, choose ye this day whom you're going to serve. I want everybody to stand at this time. Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord is in the atmosphere. The Spirit of the Lord is roaming right now. The Spirit of the Lord is taking root in you even right now God is doing something new in us hallelujah God is doing a great thing in this day that he has made 
And for that, God, we give you glory. And for that, God, we give you praise. And for that, God, we honor and we worship your name, God. We thank you for being who you are. Thank you for never changing. Thank you for being consistent. Thank you, God, hallelujah, for always revealing yourself to us. Help us to take on a heart like yours, God. Help us, Father God, to not be burnt out, Father God, but to continue to stay on the wall, God. Hallelujah, that we may hear from you. Hallelujah. That we may seek you for direction. In these last and evil days, God. We love you. For we know that the time is at hand. Yes, Lord. And we don't want to be the ones out here that are lost. Hallelujah. But God, we thank you now. Yes, Lord. For changing us. For freeing us. For delivering us, God. And for doing a great work in us, Father. As we continue to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ, God. Because we are not ashamed, hallelujah, to call on your name, God. We are not ashamed, hallelujah, to lift up your name, hallelujah. So God, we bless your name. And we thank you for what you've done for us thus far. Father, we ask that you would take us higher in you, Father. Take us to higher heights and deeper depths in you. And we'll promise to never, Father God, to never not be where we need to be. But we'll promise to give your name the praise, the glory, and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody shout out and give God a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout out unto God with a loud voice of triumph. At this time, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our leader, hallelujah, our shepherd is getting ready to lead us even into a deeper encounter. Can we please put our hands together and receive him as he comes at this time? Elder, Pastor John David Wright, receive our pastor. Come on, clap your hands and give God a praise. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel a fresh wind now. Hallelujah. The shade done came through. Hallelujah. Somebody just holler real loud. Have your way, Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Even out in the street. Be seated if you can, if you have a seat. If you need a seat, we have several seats and we can go back inside and get you some chairs. But there's chairs available all over. There's some under the tent. There's some out the tent. We've already prayed for somebody walked riding by on a motorcycle. Amen. You don't know who's going to get saved and uh, get their life turned over. Because we had nerve enough to come outside the four world walls of the church. Amen. You don't know who's down the block listening right now. Looking out their window. Just waving, saying, Jesus, save me right now. You don't know who's around the corner that can hear us. That's saying, Lord, I want to be healed right now. But I believe God is doing it. Somebody open your mouth and shout, do it, Lord. All right. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have church outside like I'm inside. Don't be so churchy inside, but you can't have church outside. Somebody open your mouth and shout, do it, Lord. Yeah, yeah. I feel God out here. Somebody going to drive by and be healed from a disease. Somebody going to be driving by and get healed from cancer. Somebody going to be driving by and get healed from heart condition. Somebody going to be driving by and forget about committing suicide. Yes! Yeah, 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 yeah. I cancel every drug addiction now. Every drug addiction right now. I cancel that assignment in the name of the... 
Lord Jesus Christ. All right, listen. We we still got stuff to do. We want to receive our tithe and offering. We still going to do that. Amen. If you need an envelope, the ushers are here to help you with that. Amen. If you need a tithe envelope, they'll make sure you get one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if we got some extra seats, we're going to go inside and get some more chairs. We got more chairs. We got some burgundy. Uh, Minister Barry, we got some of them burgundy chairs in that room. They stacked up. You're going to have to walk around the other side to probably get to them. Amen. Pocketbooks don't need chairs. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Thank the Lord for First Lady Wright going forth and praise and worship. Good to see Sister Sheila bless you. Joe, Joe, good to see y'all. Listen, um, tithing is right. The Bible says bring all the tithe into the storehouse. And he's going to bless you tremendously. Amen. Anybody glad you got a job and glad he's been keeping you? Amen. If you need an envelope, slip your hand up. And we are live. We all want they are watching us live on Facebook Live. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Trustees, we still gonna do what we do. There we go. Everything's the same. We just outside. Hallelujah. Amen. If you're using the cash app, the cash app is dollar sign, new grace tab. The Zell is Pastor Dave 14 at gmail.com. Amen. If you need the credit card machine, that credit card machine is mobile and we're going to bring it out here. Amen. I told you, everything the same. We just outside. Amen. Everything's the same. We just outside. Somebody say that. Everything's the same. We just outside. That's it. Amen. If you need the bathroom, the restroom, go in the same place they were last week. Amen. Hallelujah. Also, I want to thank Minister Jake Langley for half of this is his idea, y'all. That's my friend. He said, Dave, we don't do street ministry no more. They don't go outside no more. They don't, we used to go outside and have service under the tent. We used to have, out, I said, all right, Jake, we're going to do it. And he said, I'm bringing the sound. And he got the sound out here. You'll give Brother Jake a hand. Amen. Come on, very quickly, stand with those tithe envelopes. If, if you have your tithe, we want you to stand. Amen. Now, when do you ever hold a basket, Sister White? The guys are somewhere. Everything's the same. We just... Come on. There we go. Deacon Henry right there. I'm going to say it again. Everything's the same. We just outside. Amen. Hallelujah. Hold that tithe up in your right hand. If you are a tither, but this isn't your tithing pay week, we want you to stand so we can recognize you as a faithful supporter of the ministry. Come on, stand to your feet. If you, if you are a tither, but this isn't your tithing pay week. Amen. Hallelujah. God, we thank you for our jobs. We thank you for our increase. We thank you for all that you blessed us with so far. We're so excited about what you're doing in our finances. And we pray a unique blessing, especially today, because we're showing the world what tithing can do tithing can turn our finances around in one day and we thank you right now god bless this 10 percent that we're giving to the kingdom but bless the 90 and stretch the 90 that's still in our bank account let every bill be paid and every need be met in jesus name we pray everybody shout here i go trust in god again come on bring your tithe to deacon we bring sacrifice of praise into the house of the lord Oh, we bring 
They coming, they coming across the street. And we all for up. We got some the more coming over there. And we all come on, sister Candy. That's candy. Come on. There you go. Thank you, Sister Kenny. We bring sacrifice of praise into the house. Anybody else? I don't want to leave nobody out. Oh, we bring sacrifice of praise into the house. Into the house. And we offer up to you sacrifice. And we offer up to you the sacrifice of praise. praise. Very quickly, the choir is getting their mind ready. We're getting ready to sing. But next week, we'll be doing our baptism. Amen. And what baptism is, for those of you that are kind of new to it, baptism, being baptized in the water, that is an outward appearance of what God has already done on the inside of you. Amen. So we're going down in Jesus' name. We're going down in the water. And when you get in that water, and you're going to come up a new person. You're going to come up cleansed from everything. You're going to be brand new. Somebody say, I'm going to be brand new. And our baptism will be inside on, to, on next Sunday. And then on the following Sunday, those of you that are going with us to Virginia, we have a bus load going. If you're not going to Virginia, we will be here in service right here at Grace Tabernacle on the following Sunday. But if you're going to Virginia, please let somebody know because we got the bus and the bus going to have chips, drinks, fish, chicken, all that stuff going to be on the bus. And bread, no potato salad, but we had chicken and bread on the bus. We're taking a trip down to Pastor Jasper Willis Church. And if you're interested in going, you can still see Sister Ro Ray, Wave your hand, Rochelle. She's over there. Wave, that's Sister Rochelle right there. All right, if you're going, if you're not going, you need to be here at Grace Tabernacle. Amen. They're, going, they're getting ready to turn the grill on. They're going to have some burgers and stuff and hot dogs in a little bit for y'all amen and it's free of charge ain't, ain't nobody charging for no burgers and hot dogs real quick the choir is gonna come i need two fellas to help me move this back on the inside here we're gonna move this and the choir gonna come up and sing amen thank you minister barry minister fisher we're gonna move this all the way back come on grace choir All right. The choir going to line up right there in front of the church. Yeah, they are. Is that me doing that, Jake? That's me. All right. So I'll make sure I stand in the right place. Some of the choir got mics already. Can we sing like we inside, outside? We just gonna sing real loud and holler. We gonna sing a couple of songs. Trouble don't last, C sharp. Give me C sharp. Thank God for our musicians out here. Come on, clap your hands, everybody. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trouble don't last always. I'm so glad. Trouble don't last always. Trouble don't last always. Y'all got it. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Trouble don't last always. Trouble don't last Come on, can you get on your feet and clap your hands? I'm so glad. So glad. Yeah. Trouble don't last always. Trouble don't last always. May not come when you want them. Same thing. But it's on time. On time. In times of trouble, found him to be a friend of mine. Of mine. Of mine. So 
storm clouds rise in your life, I know the Lord. He'll be there. Yes, he will be there. Every one of your burdens, I know the Lord. He'll help you to bear, bear. I'm so glad. Everybody clap your hands right there. Trouble don't last away. Trouble don't last away. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad. Trouble don't last away. Take it out. We been made. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. It will be. We been made. We been made. Endure. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. It will be. Come on, clap your hands right there. Everybody clap your hands. Come on, soprano, say it. Trouble don't lie. Come on, all the altos say trouble. Come on, all the tennis say. Trouble don't last always. No, no, there you no, go. Trouble don't last always. Everybody say it. Trouble, trouble. trouble don't last always. No, 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 no. Last always. Trouble don't. Trouble don't last no, 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 no. Trouble don't last always. One more time. Oh, Lord. No, no, no. We've been made. We've been made. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. It will be. We've been made. Endure. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. It will be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Trouble don't last always. All right, Jake, I'm gonna need your other mic. Sister Janet, come on, we're gonna give a God, we're gonna talk about one more chance. Jake, give me that other mic. Give me your mic. Do my dance One more chance Did I send him 
this morning. One more chance. I dress myself. One more chance. I can see ya. One more chance. What the Lord done for me. One more chance. Just one more chance. One more chance. Just one more chance. One more chance. He healed my body. One more chance. Told me to run. Oh, He gave me a chance. One more chance. Just one more chance. One more chance. Just one more chance. One more chance. Lord, I thank you for the chance. One more chance. In my right mind. One more chance. I could have went cuckoo. One more chance. I could have went crazy. One more chance. I could have went cuckoo. One more chance. I could have went crazy. One more chance. But I thank you for the chance. Here we go. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. One more chance. One more chance. So glad, so glad. If you're glad you got one more chance, somebody give them glory. Hey! One more chance! Oh, Lord! Oh, Lord! Oh, Lord, Lord. Thank you. I'm so glad for one more chance. I'm on your mic. Hallelujah. Somebody say one more chance. I got one. Thank you. One more chance. One more chance. I didn't deserve it, but he still gave it to me. Matter of fact, anybody got more than one more chance? You just got, you you forgot how, you, you done lost count. He, he gave me 20 more chances this week. Somebody shout, I'm glad he gave me one more chance. Hey Amen. We're going to go right into the word of God. And I'm not going to be long, I promise you. Hey. 
musicians, go with me here. This is an old song. One more time. One more time. He allowed us to come together one more time. If you know it, help me say that. One more time. Yeah, yeah. One more time. He allowed us to come together one more time. Come on, say it again. One more time. One more time. He allowed us to come together one more time. One more time. Oh Lord, one more. He allowed to come together. All right, we're moving. Father God, word my mouth, guide my mind, hide me behind the cross and let the people see you and not me. God, we want you to be glorified out here tonight. Let this word go forth with power. Let this word go forth with conviction. Let this word shift somebody's mindset and do it in Jesus' name we pray. I can't teach, preach, or do nothing without you until you come, Lord. So have your way. Strengthen my body now in Jesus' name. Thank God and amen. The eighth Psalm, verses three through nine. Amen. Thank you, Deacon Henry and uh, Minister Fisher and Minister Wiggins, Elder Peter. Who else out there? Amen. Elder Aiken. Thank you, Sister Shalanda, Evangelist Shalanda, and those. I thought I saw Sister Charnette across the street. Yeah, she across the street pass, passing out flyers. Amen. We need to do this again. Hallelujah. Amen. But the, we're going to read the word of God. You don't have to stand if you don't feel like it. You might be comfortable in your seat. But those of us that like to honor the word, we want you to stand if you can. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God for these awesome musicians. Elder Aiken, Brother Rob, Jai. All right. Word of the Lord reads you. You got the word? Anybody got the word? The eighth Psalm, verse three through nine. And it reads, when I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him? And the son of man that thou visiteth him. For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou hast made us him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all the things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, yes, and beasts of the field, the fowl of the air and the fish in the sea, and whatever passes through the paths of the sea, O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name. And I want to go back and take my text from verse 4. What is man that thou art mindful of him? I just want to talk for a few minutes. Look at somebody and tell them, I'm on God's mind. I'm on God's mind. Amen. Be seated if you can. I'm on God's mind. <clears throat> In life, it's very easy to feel as if you've been forgotten about. Hallelujah. There's times when you feel like nobody even cares. Feels like ain't nobody checking on you. Amen. And, and, and that's more hurtful for those of us that are the people that always check on people. You ever been the person you always checking to make sure everybody right, but when something go wrong with you, nobody checking on you, nobody calling you, nobody's checking to see if you good, amen? You, when, when, when other folks is in the hospital, you make sure you get there, but when you in the hospital, won't nobody even come and uh, even look your way. 
feels like you ain't on nobody's mind. Some of us just have a heart to check on everybody. I text some folks, I say, hey, I'm just checking on you, and they don't respond until two months later. And you, you know, I, I text some folks, hey, this is Pastor just saying how you doing, and they don't say nothing back. But, you know, some folks just have a heart to check on people, but when people don't check back on you, you feel like you ain't on nobody's mind. But I want to let you know tonight, today, that you're on God's mind. Amen? When, when it's your turn to, to get checked on, and in case nobody ever checks on you, I want you to know God is focused on you. Amen. Yes, he is. Seems like when you down and out, nobody calling. Nobody coming through. Seems like when you're down and out, you don't get a text message. Amen. But just in case you never get checked on by people, uh, uh, God's, his mind is on you. I want you to know that. Amen. And when God has you on his mind, he'll send somebody you ain't heard from in years just to check on you. When God has you on his mind, he'll send people that you don't even know just to check on you. I, I, I don't know if I got any witnesses like that. You, the, the, some of the people that treat you the best is people you don't even really have great relationships with. But when you're on God's mind, he'll send a stranger your way. Hallelujah. To bless you beyond measure. He'll send a stranger to your way just to let you know that you need to be encouraged. Somebody shout, I'm on God's mind. And, and he sees, he sees what you're going through. He sees what you're dealing with. He hears what's being said. I'm not going to be too much longer. He knows what you're feeling deep down inside. He, he sees your tears in the middle of the night. He sees you taking cry breaks at your job. He sees you getting ready to throw in the towel. He sees you still loving when not being loved. But when you least expect it, God going to send something your way just to let you know he's on your mind. Uh, just when you least expect it, God going to send something your way just to let you know that he's thinking about you. And God, I don't, I, I'm going through some things, but God, just send me a sign and let you know, let me know that you ain't forgot about me. Anybody ever feel like God forgot about you? I need you to push somebody next to you and say, he ain't forget you. He ain't forget you. Uh, uh, he ain't forget about you. Some folks may have forgotten about you, but you still on God's mind. Hallelujah. And the text goes on. And I've got five more minutes. I'm already over my time. Amen. Y'all enjoying that bathroom, ain't you? Go ahead. Go ahead. And the text goes on to speak of how excellent God is. Yeah. The text goes on to say that God has made the moon and the stars. And he's made all of these great things. And, and the text goes on to say he's He's mighty and he's excellent. And then it comes back and says, if he got all that going on, who am I that he is mindful of me? My Lord. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know God is great and he's big and he's bigger than our imagination can ever imagine. But as great and as big as he is, he's still thinking about you. Now, now that's, that's when I got a problem with some folks that get a little bit of fame and a little bit of hype, and all of a sudden they can't speak to nobody. Oh, let me come, I need to come under the tent and say it. Some folks preach two sermons, and then all of a sudden they can't speak to nobody. They get so high and mighty. But God, the creator of the heavens and the creator of the earth, he don't think it's too hard to think about little old us and you walking by us like you we owe you a favor. Uh, I, I, should, I should save that for inside. But somebody outside need to hear that. Because I don't care how big and great you get, don't ever treat people like they're less than you. Woo! And God is saying, he, he's the, the, the question is asked, what is man that thou art mindful of me? 
Why are you even thinking about little old me? Little old messed up, jacked up, raggedy, ratchet, no good for nothing, lying, cheating, scandalous, dirty, filthy. Oh, I know we don't like to categorize ourselves as that. Yeah, your crap stink too. All, all, all the mess that I've been in, all the mess that I've been through. And you thinking about little old me? And he says, yes. Because then he comes back and says, man is my greatest creation. I actually created man just a notch under the angels. And it's good to have a spirit of humility. But every now and then, you got to reach back and realize who God made you. It's good to be humble and say, you know, I got a lot wrong with me. I got a lot going on. But every now and then, you got to look back and say, you know what? I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I don't cross every T and dot every I. And I might not be your cup of tea, but God's mine. Is on me. I might not be from the best part of town and I might not have a degree from Harvard or Yale, but God is mindful. Lord, have mercy. I thought you were going to help me preach out here. God is mindful of little old me. He's so mindful of me that he gave me authority. Woo. Yeah. He put me over Everything that he made. I'm his greatest creation. So all the field, all the beasts of the field, I have authority over. Oh, come on here, somebody. All the sea animals, I have authority over. And then he told me that Satan is under my feet. Ah, and, I, and I have authority over the devil. So when I don't feel like I'm something, I stomp my feet and remember that God made me somebody. I wish I had somebody to jump up and shout, Here you are. I'm on his mind, I'm on his mind. Come on, I need you to look at somebody and tell them you're on God's mind. You going through something, you think somebody forgot about you. You've been sick in your body. You think healing's not going to come. But I'm telling you, you are on top priority on God's night. So give me two more minutes. Woo. You're praying for me. I need five prayer warriors to start praying right now, real quick. Yeah, yeah. So, Jeremiah 29, 11 comes back and says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. So if you're on God's mind, this is going to end well for you. Oh, God, I, you know, I, I, I just want to leave you with that. Whatever you're in right now, it's going to end well for you. Oh, God, I wish somebody receive it out here. I don't care what it is. Sister Lisa, whatever you're dealing with right now, because he knows the thoughts that he thinks towards you to bring you to an expected end. If you know your ending is going to be better than your beginning, I need you to give God the best praise that you can give him right outside right now. I'm not going to force nobody. I just want you to praise them because this is going to end well for you.
Come on, I need you to get out your seat, your comfortable seat, and go grab somebody and tell them this is going to end well for you. I don't care what it look like. I don't care what it feel like. God said, this is going to end well. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Come on, it's going to end well for you. You got an expected end. Healing. Come on. Deliverance. Breakthrough. It's going to end well. Yes. Oh, glory. I said it's going to end well for you. You ain't going to suffer like this forever. You ain't going to struggle like this forever. But God, oh God, God said, I know the plans and the thoughts that I think towards you. Thoughts of goodness and not of evil to bring you to an expected end. And he told me to tell you that this thing is going to end real good in your favor. If you believe it, clap your hands and give them praise. Oh, yeah. Everyone standing to your feet. It's going to end well. You are not forgotten about. You are not forgotten. You are not forgotten about. God has you on his mind. I know you've been waiting for some things to happen in your life. I know you've been waiting for some blessings and some breakthroughs. I know you've been waiting on it. And sometimes it feel like God getting everybody else, but he's forgetting you. But he ain't forgot you. Matter of fact, he going to come through quicker than you think. He going to come through faster than you think. And if you need prayer, we're going to open up this tent for prayer. We got prayer warriors all through here. If you need prayer, I want you to come right here. Come right here and we're going to pray with you. Come on. Say I am strong. We say I am strong because of what the Lord has done. Come on, is there anyone else? And now, and now, let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. And now, let the weak. Come on, anybody else need prayer? I know God as a healer. That's right, he don't want to sit down. He, he don't want to sit. He want to stand. You don't know how long it took him to stand. <laughs> He said, I've been sitting long enough. I'm going to walk. Matter of fact, I'm going to get my old walk back. Here you go. <laughs> my brother, I don't know you, but I really believe 
that God is getting ready to heal. Minister Barry, come. I want you to lay hands on his entire left side. Prayer warriors, come on, hit it right here. Come on. God, touch right now. From his head to his toes. Lord, restore everything that was lost. In the name of Jesus, thank you. Restore right now. In the name of Jesus. Touch now. Strengthen now. We bind whatever this is. Go into his brain right now. Go into the mind and turn it around. Turn it around, God. Heal. Set free. Heal. Set free. Move now, God. Strength now, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's happening now. Woo. Yes, God. Yes, step, step, step. Yes, Lord. Come on, somebody give God praise. And now, let the weak say I am strong. Because of what? Oh, God is healing under the tent. Lay hands on somebody and say, you're healed too. Come on, I want you to lay hands on somebody. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. My brother, I want you to walk in your healing. The call the what? Now I need everybody to give God a great praise right there. Come on, give him glory. Come on and give him honor. Oh, yeah. Oh, glory. I said there's healing under the tent. Oh. Oh, yeah. How? Oh. Evangelist Debbie, I see you. There's healing under the tent. Oh! 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 Whatever you need. Oh, I wish I had a praiser right there. Oh, I wish I had some praises right there. Oh, 
I feel strength, Lord. Hallelujah. Whatever you need. I know this ain't no wood to dance on. But somebody put your feet on the good concrete. And everybody clap your hands. Praise until you get a breakthrough, preachers. Praise them, Sister Aiken. Praise the Mother Gilliard. Praise them in your chair, Peter. I see you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do me a favor, I just need you to walk under the tent one time. I just need you to walk under the tent. Because there's healing under the tent. Anybody need a breakthrough? I need you to just walk under the tent.
Oh Lord. Come on, clap your hands and give God a praise. All the glory, the honor, the praise is all day. It belongs to, to God. Give John one. It belongs to God. It belongs to God. All of the glory, the honor, pray this all day. It belongs to God. Very quickly, the doors of the church are open. If you don't have a church home, you can join Grace right now. Yee! All of the glory. This is a great church, and we would love to have you be a part of this awesome ministry. Hallelujah. Amen. Sister Candy, we pulling you right now. You a member of New Grace. Yes. Who is this with you? This your father. Pop, you a member of our church now. We, we taking you. God going to continue to strengthen him. Amen. Listen, we want to receive our offering. It's so good to see Evangelist Debbie Smith. If anybody knows me or knows this church, she's one of the original members of Grace Tabernacle. Yes. Amen. You over, who, how many of you remember? See, some, some of them remember you. You and Janet grew up together. Get out of here at the candy store. Your father owned the store, didn't he? Yeah, good God Almighty. My Lord. My father used to steal candy out of there, or he used to just break into the church. All right, we ain't going to see. I thank God for the legacy of my late father, the late Reverend Timothy Wright. I need as many of us, those of you that are watching us online, to sow a seed of $40. Join me with a seed of $40. I want you to do it on the cash app. I'm going to sit down in this chair. The microphone don't need those chair. I'm going to sit right here. Uh. Yes, Lord. The cash app is dollar sign. New Grace tab. Dollar sign. New Grace tab. Evangelist Debbie is sowing a seed. Amen. Matter of fact, she's used to doing this. I'm going to have her come and finish raising this offering. Come on, Evangelist Debbie. God bless you, everybody. Amen. It's certainly a pleasure to be here. And we're going to stay right in that flow. Bless you, First Lady. God bless you. Amen. 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 The glory belongs to God. I want everybody to give us 40. Some can give more. I'm going to sow $100. Because you can't beat God giving, no matter how he try. How you try. Yes. Credit card machine. Where are you, sweetheart? Stay right near me. God bless you. Amen. You can't beat God giving. Every time you give, he gives back to you. I need this $100 a day, but you know what? I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it because it's going to come back to me. And I want to prophesy to somebody. I'm not a prophet liar now. If I prophesy to you, it's going to come to pass. Some of you try to get as close as you can to 40, but get 40. I need about 20 people to give $40 right quick. Cash app. New great, what's the cash app? 
Dollar sign, new grace tab. All right. You see, I haven't sewn here, right? Because I don't know it. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. I want you, when you get that 20, don't stand yet because it's a little hot out here. Just lift your hand up. Now, what can you buy with $40? How much cigarettes cost? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't even know because I know. How much cigarettes cost in New York? $15, right? I've been in Virginia. It's about 11 down there. I don't smoke, though. I ain't going to ask for nothing else. We ain't going to go to the liquor store. We ain't going to go there. You know, and all them little herb shops y'all y'all go to. Some of y'all go to. You know, every time I walk down the street in Brooklyn, I, I get, I said, Lord, don't let me get high on contact. Because this is ridiculous. I walk in crowds. This is, I said, oh, Jesus. Amen. But I want you to, $40, I went to Junior's to our old little spot. I went to Junior's when I first got here. I've been here a few months. And I was like, I can't believe the prices. And it's not the same. You know, everything's not the same, but it's new people there. They don't serve the same. I wanted to sit up on the, I'm getting you, I'm, I'm talking while you're getting your $40. I know how to do this. Amen. And I, I want to sit on the, you know, the little area, the bar. You said, they said, we can't, you can't sit here. You can order your food or take out and come here and open up your, your food there. I was like, this has really changed. So I went and sat in the table, a friend of ours. When I got that bill, I just said, whatever. We in New York, God will give it back to us a hundredfold. Amen. Amen. How many got healing today? You know how much medicine costs? Now, most people didn't recognize me. Sheila, we go way back. We ain't going to say how far. My sister and her, I talked to Sharon yesterday. I'm going to give you her number. Yes, we go way back. I was a little heavier before, you know, a little, little heavier, a little happy heavier, you know. But God dealt with me about losing weight because when you minister, you really need to be in shape. You try and tell people for healing. Now, I went to my doctor. I'm waiting on you to get that $40. Cash app, new grace tab. Who's doing that now? Who's using the cash app? All right, one, two. We need some more people going to use that cash app real quick. I'm using it, three. Amen. All right, bless you. Amen. I'm going to tell this right quick for my deliverance for my weight. There's a lot of, of course, you know, play something soft for me. Give me some talking music. You know, you, you know and I appreciate you, bro. A lot of ailments come from our food, the way we eat. And you know, our community, you know, we heavy on that pork, you know? And I was never really heavy on pork, but let me tell you what happened to me. I went to the doctor and I was living in Delaware then and she said, Debbie, Debbie, small little doctor, about four feet, about a hundred pounds, soaking wet. Debbie, Debbie, you know, you, 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 you so healthy, you so healthy. They looked at my numbers. I've never had high blood, diabetes, or nothing. She said, lose the weight, because if you're not, you're going into pre-diabetic. That's all she had to tell me. And I kept messing up in some of, you know, ice cream. I come back. She said, your numbers are up, but it's not enough. I'm not going to put you on met form. Now, most doctors will do that. She was a good doctor, because you know it's a kickback when you do that in medicine. Amen. It's, it's a racket. That's why we got healing. That's why healing is so important. Long story short, while you're getting, you're gathering your money, I went back, and she said, it's the, you, you get out of here. You got you to get this weight off. And I did. I've been the same size. I was a little heavier, 10 pounds. I've been the same, almost the same size. I weigh in at 164. I was 250, 252. Yeah, it, look, it didn't look bad on me. You know, I was, you know, but people say, oh, you, you look skinny now. I'm healthy. Because I was dodging, I was dodging that medicine. I'm like, uh-uh, I ain't sticking something in my arm. My mother was a diabetic, you know, lightly. But I, I said, uh-uh, I'm not going that way. And I feel great. I missed the gym yesterday, but I feel great. I begin to swim like I used to, go on the spa. You got to do something for your health. Healthy, healthy. You got to do something for your health. I know we like the ribs. You know, I take a rib every now and then. But I, we like the certain kind of food we like. But you got to do healthy avocados and, and drinking water and and all of those things, that brings your weight down. Getting out walking, if it's hot in the day, early in the morning, just do a walk. I ain't getting no amens. It's so, it, listen, a lot of your medicine would be gone. It would solve this problem. I ain't telling you stop taking your medicine now. But it will be gone. You know what I'm talking about. You know, and we've got to do that. In the body of Christ, we've got so many preachers that's fat and overweight. 
God tell you to run. I said, Lord, if you told me to run down that aisle when I was out of shape, I said, I couldn't even do it. I'd be out of breath. They had to pray for me when I get back there. I ain't going to tell you my age. I ain't going to tell that. But I'm up there, baby. I'm in my 60s. Amen. And I'm blessed. I can run to that corner and come back. I'm blessed. And I'm still working on my health. When I missed it, I'm still working on that rowing machine. I'm still trying to get my muscles and stuff straight. Amen. Because this is what God, this is what God wants for you, abundant life. You're supposed to live a long time. And finances. And finances. And finances. Bahamas and Hawaii. Yeah, finances. To go where you want to go. Drive good. Eat good. Because you know healthier food costs more. Go to Whole Foods. I go to Whole Foods. I went the other day. I ain't going to tell you how much I spent. But you know what? I'm feeding my body. And feeding your spirit in the word of God. They both work hand in hand. How many have 40? Just slip your hand up. You did 40. Come on. 40, 40, 40, 40. All right, 40, 40, you know. All right, come on. How many could give me 30? We're going we to do an auction here. 30, 30, 30. $30. Come on. 30, $25. Please, so. These musicians have to be compensated. Ministry costs. It ain't free. It ain't free will. I don't believe in free will ministry. You know, unless I want to decide to do it. Like today, it's free will. He asked me if I decide I want to do that. Because when you labor to learn how to play and, and, and practice on those instruments, it's time. And time is what? Oh, y'all know. Okay, thank you. Good class. Good class. Time is money for that brother to, to hit that guitar. Time is money. Amen. And we've got to learn how to support our musicians in church. People say, oh, they go to the world. I know, but the world pays them too. I have friends out there playing now. And you know what they say? They say, I'd rather be in church, but I can't support my family like that. I'd rather be in church. I'd rather be playing for church. And we got to do better. I said, we got to do better. I'm not a neighbor. I'm not a neighbor preacher, so don't touch nobody. Because when I'm down there, I don't want nobody touching me all the time. Touch your neighbor. Uh, tell them. Nah, 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 nah. And it's okay for whoever wants it, but sometimes I get tired. You know my grandmother. She used to go, yes. your hands like that. She lived to 100. Slim, just like me. That's who I took after. No medication. Lived to 100. She said, I'll give you 100 years. Walk from here to the corner and come back. No glasses. No cane. She had cataract surgery. No glasses. No cane. No medication. When she was 90, my mom took her to the doctor. And the doctor said, you know, Mrs. Smith? He said, I want you to hear your mother's heart through this stethoscope. It's running as strong as mine. He was 52. I mean, boom, boom, boom. My mother said, I heard mother's heart today. Was, I said, oh, thank God. Amen. So God can give you health. Touch your body. Touch your right here and say, Lord, I need 100% health. I need, if you're on medication, I need to come off that medication in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There's healing in my hand. I want you to stand on your feet. I'm going to pray for people that want to come off of medications in the name of Jesus. Come on. Where's the, you got the ready for the offering? Everybody stand. Everybody stand. That can. That can. Sow a seed. Come on. Get a seed. $20. Come on. Get something. I'm sowing 100 when I get through. Get something in your hand. Come on. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. It's not for the preacher. It's for the, to the service of the Lord. Bow your heads. Father, we thank you right now. We praise you right now for what you've done in this service, for this outside service and celebration of this day. We thank you for the leader of this house. In the Thank you, God. He has a double duty to be here and then to be at another church. God, we thank you for his wife who stands by his side. And we ask you right now, in the name of Jesus, those that need healing in their body, oh God, in the name of Jesus, and financial blessings today, in the name of Jesus, we're sowing unto you, God, and you'll give us a hundredfold. We're believing for a hundredfold blessing in the name of Jesus, and we thank you. Before you come, give the money, and I'm going to pray for you. Those that need healing, just tell me you need healing, I'm going to lay hands on you. But let me tell you one thing. There are more $100 bills in circulation I'm telling you, it's, it has already been proven. There are more $100 bills in circulation than it is with dollar bills in the world. There's more. There's more. $100 bills circulate. You ought to want some of those hundreds in the name of the Lord. Step out on this side first. I want this side to come. So you see, come on, pass through. I'm going to do my cash app when I get through. 
Amen. Amen. Come on. I need $40. I need the money. I need, I need it today. We need this today. Amen. 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 Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Whoever here needs healing? Who needs healing from medication? In the name of Jesus, right now. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Sow your seed. All over here. Sow your seeds. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sow your seed. Bless you. Hallelujah. Sow your seed. Come on. In the name of Jesus. Sow your seeds. Use your cash app. You Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Rabbi Siko Kosher. You want to see me? Healing, healing today. Healing. Financial healing. Physical healing. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody over here, come on this side. Thank you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I'd like to know what it is, but we'll, we'll find out. Bless you, Pastor. Bless you. Come on, let's clap our hands for Evangelist Debbie Smith. Amen. Y'all know I don't usually do that, but I trust her. You know, if, if I let her, she, she's a part of this, the groundwork of this ministry. Amen. We're getting ready to go. And as we're going, I'm pleased, all of the fellas, men, and if the men don't do it, ladies, y'all help out. But I think the men can get it done. Get all this stuff back inside. All right? I think the men can get it done. But we're praying for Mother Missouri. Um, I always called it her husband, um, Jamika and Rashida's dad. Uh, he passed on yesterday. Yesterday about 1 p.m. So, um. We're, we're praying for Mother Missouri, Mother Yvonne Missouri. Let's reach out to her, amen, and reach out to Rashida and Sister Jamika. That was their dad, amen. He, he went, not don't know all the details, but he was having some chest pains, and he, they just found him unresponsive. He was home, so it, was, it wasn't expected to happen that way. So let's keep them in our prayers. You never know where death is. Amen? And we're gonna, we, we know that um, we don't mourn like the world does. Amen. But we know that we'll see our loved ones again. So let's keep them in our prayers. Amen. Any other announcements that I may be forgetting? Baptism is on next week. And we want to see everybody. Is We're going to have service. Everything's the same. But there's going to be a big old pool in the middle of the pulpit. We ain't going swimming now. No, Mother Brown, don't bring no swimming trunks. <laughs> but we'll be going down in the water. And we already met. I already met with the leaders regarding that. And then the Virginia trip. I'm not going to send out no more text messages. I think everybody got the information by now. All right. Peter, you coming with us to Virginia? You can ride the, that, thing, get the, that thing going on I-95? Can you put that chair on 95? Yeah, I, see, I seen Peter on the conduit in that thing. Come on, let's stand. <laughs> let's stand and be dismissed. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Father God, we thank you for your presence, not just in this place, but out in this street we thank you for your anointing that's saturating all up and down pacific street we pray for traveling grace and traveling mercy get us home safe with no hurt harm or danger coming to us and god i pray right now that what we've done today has a lasting effect in this community in the mighty name of jesus and when we meet at the next time be with us god in jesus name we pray everybody say thank god 
Amen. Hug somebody. Tell them I love the Lord and you too. Lady G got some cakes inside. She got coconut cake. She got butter pecan cake. She got carrot cake. Some of y'all, y'all know y'all like carrot cake. She got red velvet cake. You like that red velvet cake. Oh, you got some? Okay. She got banana. No rehearsal tomorrow. She got, uh, what other cakes she got? All kinds of cakes and cookies in there. Amen. God bless you.